Yo ho ho, Don Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Don Mafia Report. And y'all, apparently today is the last day where the media can actually report on what happens during training camp. I mean, this has been circulating the news a lot, especially after news broke. Um, I believe it was when Chris from One Bills Live got suspended for reporting on exactly what the Buffalo Bills were doing. For some reason, no media starting tomorrow during practices cannot report on anything except for like after practice, like workouts, like one-on-one -on -one matchups and stretching. So this is probably going to be the last in-depth training camp video that we have, but that doesn't mean that we have a lot to talk about today. And we're going to dive into topics such as the usual, who missed practice and for why. An update on Josh Allen, of course, Gabriel Davis, and then a deeper dive into our new kicker. We're super excited. Before I do that, guys, I need to remind you once again that me and Aaron Williams ended up dropping our first episode of Believe in Bills last Wednesday. Say that you haven't had an opportunity to listen to it. I highly recommend that you do. You can find the episode on either Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and then feel free to tweet me and or Aaron to tell us exactly what you thought. We're super excited. We're going to be dropping a weekly episode on Wednesday from here on out. So your support would mean the world to us. Starting off with practice today, guys, we might as well just go on ahead and run through the injury report. Stefan Diggs, once again, still nursing uh, that soreness in his lower back. And like I said in my last training camp update, I did say that don't be surprised if you see Stefan Diggs sitting out for a couple of different practices because we don't want to overstrain him, especially since week one is only two weeks away. One good thing about it was the fact that while he was on the sidelines, he was very, very active in watching his fellow wide receivers run their drills today. And I mean, at the end of the day, that just shows you how much of leadership qualities that he has been demonstrating. So, I mean, we cannot be upset about it. And let's just hope that he's 100% for week one against the New Jersey Jets. And so then, of course, you have John Feliciano, as we all know, with his pectoral injury, Taiwan Jones, Sweeney, who has practically missed the entire training camp. Same with Josh Norman, who is still nursing that hamstring injury. I'm crossing my fingers that he's going to be a go by week one. Same with Christian Wade, still nursing that quad injury, probably not doing him any favors and any opportunity of making the 53-man roster. Same with Patrick DeMarco. This guy hasn't, I don't believe he's practiced at all, and it's definitely seeming like Gilliam is going to end up taking over his position at this point, but I guess only time will tell. And so then Quentin Spain missed out on practice as well, and Zach Moss was in a red non-contact jersey. Now, for the most part, Bills have lucked out for any significant injury. I mean, you hear so many breaking stories of other teams across the NFL losing out on players for what seems to be like the rest of the season or a significant chunk of the season. Thank God, knock on wood. The Buffalo Bills have very few and far between when it comes to scenarios like that. So we got to be thankful. Now going into our uh, main story, the title of this video, Josh Allen. Apparently, Josh Allen did not have a good day at practice whatsoever. And I mean, this sucks because, I mean, it seems like the entire media coverage when it comes down to Josh Allen has been peaks and valleys. Like, y'all all know that I dropped a video praising him on how well he did during the scrimmage. But it looks like these two days off may have added some rust to him. And so right according to Thad Brown, he said that Josh Allen was a bit all over the place from the start. There was a ball over the middle that was legitimately thrown directly to Trey White. He dropped it. And he also took a sack and with play extended threw into triple coverage. Wallace had a tipped interception. Overall, not a strong day. Now, I mean, like when you hear news like this from training camp, you have to wonder whether or not that there's a problem with your offense or whether or not that your defense is absolutely excelling. Now, knowing most Bills fans, there's probably going to be a couple people in the comments that are like, oh, fuck, Dan, here we go again. Josh Allen being inconsistent. I probably wouldn't worry about this too much. Number one, he essentially had two days off. I mean, he really hasn't, like, been out in, like, a real, like, football environment for the past two days uh, because Friday, as you guys know, was just, like, a general walkthrough, and then Saturday, yesterday was obviously being an off day. So, I mean, I really wouldn't worry about it. It's legitimately just a dress rehearsal at this point. Say, for example, that we can get the Josh Allen that showed up during the Thursday scrimmage, then we have absolutely 
nothing to worry about. Professional athlete or not, we all develop rust when we go into our day-to-day -day operations. So we'll definitely keep an update on that. So once again, it almost seems like I always need to give our daily shout out to Gabriel Davis, who once again is proving to everybody that he is essentially a 53 man lock. So had a fantastic drill against Trey White, once again, extending, laying out and catching a touchdown pass while White was covering him. I mean, I really don't think that I need to sell you guys anymore of how much the hype that we have for this Gabriel Davis kid. I mean, he might be shit. For all we know, like I said last video, our number two receiver. So finally, Tyler Bass. I know, it's funny because a lot of you mentioned on Thursday when I dropped my video, I shit you not. Like, I want to say three minutes after I pressed the upload button, news broke that the Buffalo Bills ended up releasing Stephen Hoshka right after his tenure with the Buffalo Bills and Tyler Bass was set to be our new kicker for 2020. Um... I really didn't have an opportunity to put my thoughts out there. I do want to say that I appreciate everything that Hoshka did for this organization. Don't get me wrong. I think that he played a huge part in us breaking the drought and going into the playoffs in 2017. And I mean, while there was his share of inconsistencies, it really at the end of the day, it was just time to move on. And apparently Tyler Bass is thrilled to um, sort of take this next step and be the Buffalo Bills kicker. While he was getting interviewed, he feels that although that he ended up winning the kicking position, he hasn't proven anything. And he's not going to know what extent of proving his worth is going to be until they actually end up playing a game. So I'm really interested to watch this kid. As far as practice today, he went six for six, y'all. And so he nailed a 35-yarder, 41-yarder, 44-yarder, 45-yarder, 48-yarder, and to top off the day, a 50-yarder. And according to reports, they're saying that they were legitimately down the middle. So, I mean, it seems like the Tyler Bass train is chug it along don't get me wrong i really want a kicker that can connect on those 50 plus field goals but i'm really kind of hoping that our offense is just so damn electric that field goals will be few and far between unless we need them for emergency purposes so yeah dom mafia that's going to be the dom mafia report for the most part like i said y'all it seems like the bills are kind of at a war with their marketing department the media and you really can't blame them, right? I mean, especially once there's coaches out there like Bill Belichick, who, so to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised say that he has at least four to five people right within his marketing department spying on exactly what we're doing during camp. But I mean, is what it is. So these in-depth reports of what goes on during camp probably won't be like this anymore, but don't worry, baby. I'm still gonna be posting as many possible videos as possible. So say that you're new here. My name is Dan Mitchell. I regularly put out Buffalo Bills content, a little NFL content. If that's your cup of tea, I highly recommend subscribing to this channel. Of course, you got to smash the fuck out of that like button. And always remember, let's go Buffalo.